self-care practices. Now let's get into the fun part. There are so many other ways that we can use water for self-care and beautification after the foundational bathing, showering, and washing. Once that's done, we can move on to some more nourishing techniques. So let's start with hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy uses temperature variations of water to direct healing to the body. You're already familiar with many forms of hydrotherapy, baths, saunas, hot towels, ice baths, etc. All of these are ubiquitous. Immersion hydrotherapy is also common in burn units. Other forms of hydrotherapy that are common but may not be well recognized include wet wraps, warming socks, naping therapy, colonics and douches and sitz baths. There are also more rare and ancient forms of hydrotherapy that require special instruments, but many of them have fallen out of practice in the past hundred years or so since allopathy has effectively replaced all formerly common water healing methods like balneology, homeopathy, and hydrotherapy, etc. In fact, hydrotherapy may actually be the oldest form of healing known to mankind, since our primordial ancestors first stumbled upon and recognized the refreshing and healing effects of jumping in a cold river or a hot spring. It's been used throughout the millennia for everything from wound healing to mental health to weight loss to pain and inflammation to nervous system disorders to the common cold and everything in between. The trick with hydrotherapy is knowing how to administer water in a specific way for your particular goal. So if your goal is radiant skin, it has several solutions for you. Recent research has shown that hydrotherapy helps maintain skin integrity and skin hydration while reducing water loss in the skin. And a hydrotherapy clinic in France recently conducted an eight-year, 6,000 participant observational study using hydrotherapy for eczema. After just 18 days, hydrotherapy reduced eczema by 42%, but you don't have to have eczema to get the benefits. It can also reduce redness, even skin tone, treat under eye bags, soothe sunburns, and reduce puffiness. The next hydrating beauty hack is one that you've probably already heard of. It's become pretty trendy over the past few years because it's so effective. I personally use it every night. But most people don't realize that it actually works by addressing one of the biggest waterways in our body, which is the lymphatic fluid. You actually have three times more lymphatic fluid than blood in your body. And oftentimes this lymph can stagnate in the face, causing us to appear bloated and puffy. Over time, if the lymph doesn't circulate as it should, it can cause a buildup of toxins underneath the skin, leading to inflammation, breakouts, puffiness, etc. So I recommend using gua sha and facial cupping for lymphatic flow. This is an easy and super enjoyable practice that you can add to your daily routine. And if you want the full body benefits of lymphatic drainage, you can use a dry brush to stimulate the flow before your shower.